In this video, we're going to look at what's referred to as an allocation problem. Um, the table shows the costs of performing each of three tasks on each of three machines. Each task must be completed and each machine must be used. The aim is to reduce the total cost. Formulate a linear programming problem to solve the problem. Okay, so we've got the machines A, B, C and tasks 1, 2, 3. And what this is telling me is that machine A costs 8 to do task 1. So that could be £8 or it could be £80, I don't know, it doesn't matter. So, how could, do I formulate this as a linear programming problem? Well, it's actually very similar to the previous situation with the matching problem. Um, because I need to think about uh, each of the variables so A1 in this case, or B1 or B2 or B3, um, as indicator variables, because either I'm going to choose them or I'm not. So the objective function will be to minimise, because I want to minimise the cost, uh, where each of the costs will be multiplied by the variable. So I've eight lots of A1 uh, plus two lots of A2 plus five lots of A3 plus seven lots of B1 plus nine lots of B2 plus ten lots of B3 plus three lots of C1 plus six lots of C2 plus four lots of C3. OK, so that is my objective function. And then that's going to be subject to some constraints. So um, we know that each machine can only do one task because each machine has to be used. OK, so that means that because each machine ha can only do one task, I can only have A doing either one, two, or three. So it can only do one of those. So that has got to be equal to one because each machine must be used. So it's un unlike the uh, maximal matching situation that we had in the bipartite graph uh, where we did less than or equal to one because that edge may not actually be chosen or uh, that, um, sorry, not edge, but that person or activity may not actually be chosen. In this case, we've been told that each machine has to be used. So that's got to be equal to 1. And the, So we're either going to have 1 plus 0 plus 0, 0 plus 1 plus 0, or 0 plus 0 plus 1, forcing A to do one of those three tasks. So likewise, we must have B1 plus B2 plus B3 has got to be equal to 1. And C1 plus C2 plus C3 has got to be equal to 1. But as constraint, so that means that each machine can only do one of the activities. However, that by itself is not good enough because we could have uh, A1, B1, C1, which means that all three machines are doing task 1. So we can't have that. So we've got to have constraints that say that each task can only be done by one machine. So, task 1 can only be done by either A, B, or C. Only one of them is allowed. Okay, so that's got to be equal to 1. Task 2 can be done by A, B, or C. And that's got to be equal to 1. And task 3 can be done by A, B, or C. And so this is the linear programming problem that will solve this situation.